people used to ask me, how can you, and Robert is separated for five or six weeks when you go off on these to Europe. And I said, well, it's, we're not. We're not separate. It's not a question. Whether he and I are together is not a question. It's never been a question. It doesn't mean an answer because it's never been a question. Uh, am I, do we, I feel separate? No. Well, I'm still a couple, whether I'm in London or Paris or, or Timbuktu. It's not a question. So when we hit the lyrical part of a relationship, there's no questions. We simply are. There's no contrary, there's nothing. It just is, it's a choice, it's been made. And we surrender to that choice and we go with it. And it just makes us both bigger and, and it enriches. Because now, see, it's grounded uh, in, 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 in our flow as a couple. And that flow may take one of us here and one of us there and bring us back together, and, but it's grounded in that flow. We know what we can and cannot do when we're gone and when we're here. We, ha we know how far the other person uh, can go. We know what it takes. Our biggest struggle in life is to be ourselves. So hopefully on this ride with a couple, with a partner, we've chosen somebody who's behind that program of being real and being the self and being vulnerable. That they're cheering us on. I remember I had this boyfriend at Esalen once. Amazing. I, I've had so many boyfriends, but I, I used to go over there to Esalen with my like 75 albums because I didn't know what I wanted to play. I was the original DJ, you know. I walk over to Esalen with my, all my albums, you know, and, and get there and do my workshop and have to pick out what music. I, I just couldn't, couldn't decide before I left. So I suffered this and I did this. Every time, like I'd have these boyfriends, different ones go, uh, well, when were you dead? What, you know, are you teaching another group? <laughs> it's like, so I'm with this guy, not very long, but at any rate, it didn't last very long, but there was a moment where he's still part of me now. I, I went to go out the door with my records and heard the, go baby, go, man, turn those people inside out, like make that dance happen, baby, go baby, go, and it was like, wait a minute, where's this been? Instead of being resented for being myself, exploring myself, for having a job, for you know many, many things, I was actually being applauded. I was being supported. I had a cheerleader at home. And I never, I felt so great. Those records felt lighter. Walking up that path, I felt like, like I was on a trip. I was tripping on his high, on mine my choice, my, my passion. So it's big, it's really important that we feel that. And that we know that that's what we're in each other's lives to do. So that we can really be at peace with each other. And so that we know that we're not alone. And, and you know, this goes the same for friends, by the way. You could take this map and put it on any friendship. It's the same thing. Just as long as we remember it's all about love. The whole nine yards, it's all about love. How can I love? How, how do I love? How do I love more? How do I love myself? How do I love you? How do I love all of you? And the more we love, the more we're loved. And the more space we give, the more space we're given. The more we applaud others, the more they allow us. The more permission I give you to get, be me, the more permission you'll give me to be me. Did I say that twice? The more permission I give you to be you, the more permission you'll give me to be me.